Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will share with you guys 15 iPhone performance settings that I believe you should change immediately on your device. These settings will help your device perform better on network, cellular, and also of course overall improvement on performance on your iPhone. And these are really, really important and I believe every iPhone user must check these settings and see how they have them configured whether they have them turned on or off and of course which is the right way to configure these settings on your device now another thing you should do right now that actually won't help the performance of your iphone but it will help the performance of this channel is leave a like on this video that really helps out a lot and of course subscribing does as well because most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed so make sure you go ahead and do that and we're starting things off here with Wi-Fi calling. Unfortunately, this setting won't be on every device. I don't have it on my device right here because it is a setting that you will have once your carrier supports that setting. And it is Wi-Fi calling. It allows for your iPhone to make calls, phone calls via Wi-Fi. Now you can see right here what it says. Make and receive calls over Wi-Fi with, of course, your carrier account so when you're on an area where the cellular network coverage is not that good and of course you have a wi-fi connection then the wi-fi will take over and you will be able to make that call through wi-fi which of course will have a great great improvement a great impact on the quality of your call so if you have this setting on your device you can go ahead and turn it on simply check it by going to your settings app go to the phone settings and you will find there wi-fi calling Next up, we're moving to the Wi-Fi settings and we have here a low data mode, which I believe no user should use this with their Wi-Fi networks. This will make your Wi-Fi network and of course your connection run really, really slow because your iPhone will try to consume as less data as possible and it will even turn off automatic updates, background tasks and everything like that on your iPhone. Now go ahead and turn this off. To turn this off, you need to go to your Wi-Fi networks and tap the I button at the network that you want to configure this setting at because this is set on specific networks. You cannot just set this on or off for all the networks you connect to. You will have to do this separately for any of the networks you connect to. Fortunately, this is turned off by default, so just check this if you have this enabled on any of the networks that you use frequently, make sure you go ahead and turn it off. Now you will have this for your seller data options as well low data mode so basically low data mode will reduce cellular data usage that way of course you know that your connection will be slower as your iphone is trying to save as much data as possible now this can of course be enabled or disabled by going to the seller settings you will have here your seller data options all you have to do is just go ahead and turn this off and of course your device will work as normally nowadays of course data connections are really really fast most people have plans with huge amounts of data or unlimited plans so i don't really think that most users will need this feature but if you have like a really really poor connectivity with your cellular network then of course you can go ahead and turn this on but for most people this should be turned off and right here under the seller settings, we have the hotspot settings and we have a setting called maximize capability. Now, what this will do is that it will reduce the performance on devices that are connected to your device, of course, to your hotspot. And if you use maybe your iPhone as a hotspot for any of your other devices, or maybe for your friends or someone close to you, you just want to give them a connection, enabling this will make their network way slower. And if you use maybe your iPhone as a hotspot for your Mac, then of course, this will make the connection really, really slow. What I suggest you do, you go ahead and turn off maximize capability by going to your seller settings and then of course personal hotspot. And we're still staying here under the seller settings. We have here Wi-Fi assist. This is one of my favorites. I always make sure that I have this turned on. Now what Wi-Fi assist will do is that when you're connected to Wi-Fi network and like you have a poor connectivity or maybe you're just moving away from that connection 
Wi-Fi Assist will make Seller connect automatically so you won't even realize that you have lost your connection with your Wi-Fi network. And then of course, when, once that Wi-Fi connection is stronger, it will move back to Wi-Fi. So it will do everything automatically for you in the background so your network performance will be really, really good. And you don't have to actually do anything about it at all. All you have to do is just make sure you have Wi-Fi Assist turned on. We're moving on to Face ID and Passcode. If you have a phone with Face ID, of course you have set up your Face ID right here. What is proven to make Face ID faster is adding an alternate appearance right here. So you don't actually need to have an alternate appearance, maybe you have basically the same appearance all the time, but make sure that you always have set up an alternate appearance right here. It will make Face ID even faster. You will notice it when unlocking your device, your Face ID will work much, much faster. So always make sure when you set your Face ID, you also set up an alternate, alternate appearance. If you haven't done so, you can still go ahead and do that. Of course, just go to Face ID and Passcode and set it up from here. Now if you have one of the older devices that run iOS 15 or iOS 14, you can go ahead and improve the performance of that device really by a huge amount simply by turning off the animations that you probably don't need. They look cool and all that, but you don't need them. Instead of just having cool animations, you can have a better performance on your device. What I suggest you do, go to settings under accessibility right here, go to display, actually go to motion here and make sure you have enabled reduce motion. This will actually reduce all the like the animation that you get when you get in and out of the apps and of course move around on iOS. That way it will conserve actually a lot of CPU power. That way of course your device will run much much smoother. Something to always keep in mind when it comes to performance on your iPhone is that your iPhone needs enough free space to run smooth. What I suggest you do, always make sure that you have enough free space on your iPhone. Go to settings, general iPhone storage right here and just take a look at what's taking space on your device. You will see right here everything from the apps, maybe photos, messages, anything that you have saved on your device that is taking up space. And if you have really, really low free storage on your iPhone, then you must actually just like free up some space by maybe deleting stuff, maybe like videos that you don't need. And when it comes to videos, I always prefer not to shoot videos on 4K on iPhone because they will take a huge amount of space on my iPhone. And of course, I don't really watch them on a four screen, this four screen, 4K screen anyway, so just watch them on my iPhone. So I'll always make sure I do that. And here we go again, the iOS 15 bug here, storage not loading, it's loaded finally. So you can see right here what we have. You see everything, all what apps are taking here, all the space and all that. And of course you can always go ahead, maybe remove some apps or remove some data from different apps that you're not using or stuff like that. So really, really important to have basically a few gigs of free space on your device. Maybe like eight or 10 will do the work. So always make sure that you have enough free space in order for a device to perform as it should. Now you probably have seen the settings when we talked about battery life on iPhones. Background app refresh is always one of those settings that people suggest you turn off. Now that comes in handy also when talking about performance because apps that are refreshing in the background will require CPU power that way will have an impact on your iPhone's performance. What I suggest you do, go ahead, go to your settings, general background app refresh, and you will see a list of apps right here that most of them probably don't need to be refreshing in the background. So you can just go ahead and turn any of these off. Of course, apps that you know you don't want to have to be refreshing in the background. Of course, nowadays iPhones, most of them, especially the newer ones, have great, great performance. That's why we love these devices. But if you're doing something like a heavy task on your device or maybe you're playing a heavy game and you have stuff going in the background, that might have an impact on its performance and even heat up the device a lot. 
and some of them might also be automatic downloads. So go to your settings, go to the app store settings right here. You will have automatic uploads for apps and updates. You're doing something and you have updates running in the background. Of course, apps installing that might have an impact on your device. So you can just go ahead and turn these off. And of course, always you go ahead and install an update when you're ready to do so and you don't have anything else going on on the device. One of the apps that iPhone users use all the time is Safari. Now Safari is really good actually, I really like it, but if you have a ton of tabs open in the background and you leave them there for maybe weeks or even months sometimes, that will have an impact on its performance. What I suggest you do, you go to your settings, go to Safari right here and make sure you go ahead and find closed tabs. And right here you can configure this very, very useful setting that will allow Safari to automatically close those tabs. You can choose from one day to one week or one month and you don't have to bother of how many tabs you have opened in the background. Everything will be done automatically. Now something real important on your device is Siri and search. Now this will have a big, big impact on your device's performance. Anytime you're searching for something, Siri and search spotlight basically will search anything on your device and of course the internet as well. So what I suggest you do, you go ahead and take a look at the apps that you have right here on this list. Just make sure you have disabled apps that you don't need to. So when I'm searching for something, there are apps of course that I don't expect to see results from and I don't need results from that app. All I have to do is just go ahead and turn that off. So go ahead and turn off one from this app, show in search, show content in search and all that other stuff. Of course, this way you don't have to bother with content from apps and things you don't want to. Not just serial search will use information from your apps, location service as well and notifications as well. And all of these have impact on the performance of your device. What I suggest you do, you only use apps you actually need. Now for that, we have a great solution with iOS. So you go to settings, app store, and just make sure you have turned on upload unused apps. All the apps you don't use for a long time will be automatically removed from your device. But if you need them, you can just go ahead and install them from the app store and you have all your data saved so you don't need to bother about that. But it's, this is actually a really, really good feature of iOS so it automatically removes the apps so they don't take up space and of course don't impact the performance of your iPhone. And here we have the two couple of settings that I suggest you should take a look at if your device is actually not performing as it should or your thing maybe is glitching or something like that. First of them is of course reboot. Now what you can do, go to your settings, scroll all the way down right here, tap on shutdown. That way you can turn off your iPhone and of course boot it again. And this will probably fix any like hangs or glitches or stuff like that that your iPhone might have. Or if your iPhone is not responding at all, all you have to do is volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button and that will do a hard reset to your iPhone and that should fix the problem. And of course, again, if your iPhone is not performing as it should or the network on your iPhone is not performing as it should, you can always reset those. Go to settings, general, and you will have right here transfer or reset iPhone. If you tap on reset right here, you can go ahead and reset all the settings of your device. This will reset everything to its default, or you can just reset the network settings. Again, it will delete any settings that you have for your networks, your cell network, and it will reset them at their default, just like they were when you purchased your iPhone brand new. So that is it for this video guys, thank you for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully this will be helpful for you. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.